Hello everyone, Eric here. I wanted to give you a tutorial on something that I had originally seen on Chris Shiner's channel, which by the way, if you have not checked him out, he has some amazing Seesaw tutorial videos. Um, but I was watching a video that he made, and it was all about moving things from Google Slides over to Seesaw, which is a big thing, uh, and a lot of questions come out of that, because teachers will uh, purchase items from Teachers Pay Teachers, uh, things like that, that have movable pieces, and then they want to move it into Seesaw, and it doesn't work correctly. And that's just because items that are in Google Slides, they can only be edited in Google. But there's an easy way around this that I'm going to show you today using a Seesaw extension for Chrome. Okay, so I'm going to be able to take this background and these movable objects and make them movable in Seesaw and anybody with Chrome can do it. So here is the first thing that you'll need to do. You're going to need to go to the Chrome Web Store and look for the Seesaw Reflect extension, okay, or the Reflect in Seesaw extension. It's free, and once you add it, you'll just see a little... Seesaw icon right up here in the corner. If you don't see that icon, click on your extensions manager right there, and then just click on the little pin button next to it, and that will make sure that you always see it right here at the top. Okay, so now that I have that Reflect in Seesaw extension, I am ready to start copying this sort and moving it over to Seesaw. Now in Seesaw, I've created an activity called Word Sort, and I'm going to go down and open the template for student responses. This is where the students are going to be moving these things around. Then I'm going to go to drawing so that I have my creative canvas ready. Okay? All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to grab the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and just duplicate this entire slide. And the reason I want to do that is now I can drag over all these movable items and then just click on delete. Okay, I want to get all those out of there. I don't want to delete them off my original slide though. Okay, now I'm going to copy this as my background to put into my activity. So now that I've had that slide selected, I go to File, Download, JPEG. And you're going to see it downloads it right here onto my computer. Okay, so let me go over to that activity I was creating. Now I could upload this from my device or on Chrome, I can actually just drag it and drop it. Okay, and then I'm gonna click the three dots and I'm gonna lock this in place. There we go. Now I've got my background. Now this is the part that, um, that really is important here is we wanna have these movable pieces, right? So this is where this Reflect and Seesaw uh, extension comes in. I'm going to click on it and you'll see it allows me to capture a selected area of my screen. So I'm going to tap that and then let's go ahead and click and drag over this movable object and I'm going to let go. You're going to notice that it puts it right in to my open seesaw activity and it's movable. Now there's a couple things I'm going to do to make sure that this works well for my kids. The first is I don't want to link there to that Google slide. So what I'm going to do is tap the three dots, go to link, and then just click the X. There we go, no more link. Then I'm also going to go in and I'm going to use the new lock size feature. So I go to lock and then lock size. That way my students can move this without accidentally uh, resizing it by accident. All right, so let's try that one more time. I'm going to go into my slides, and I'm going to try to grab this one now. So I'm going to go to my Reflect in Seesaw, Capture Selected Area, and let's do this car right here, this little cab. Let go, and there we go. And I resize it. Okay, tap on the three dots, get rid of the link, tap on the three dots once more, and then I'm going to lock the size. Which, by the way, a shortcut to lock your size is you can do Control, Shift, and then M. That'll lock it, but still allow you to move it. All right, there we go. All right, now I'm all set where I can share this with my students. They can move these things, and uh, it works right inside of Seesaw without my students having to go into the Google environment. I hope this was helpful.